Welcome to the Super Facts Show on the Super Facts Network. I just appreciate you listening. So I'm not going to ask you to follow me on Instagram at Mark Waldo War. I'm not going to ask you to rate and review the show. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe to it. Thank you for your time. What up, world? It's your boy, Mark Waldo War, Super Fact Show, Super Fast Network. Today we got with us one of the most interesting and eclectic artists I ever came came across. Uh, I ain't sure if this man's uh, Alabama, Texas, but he's just a good musician. We got Retro Hendrix with us. How you doing today, brother? What's good, bro? What's good, bro? Alabama, though. I live in Texas, but you know, it's always Alabama. It's the home state, brother. See, you, you know... Uh, I didn't get that much of a chance to read your your, your bio, but uh, I, I was listening to some interviews, so I thought I caught that Alabama accent, but then, you know, I've been aware of you for a long time, and I see you make a lot of music with Houston artists, so I wasn't quite sure, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, man, I've been in Houston, well, I've been in Texas for about the last seven, eight years, bro, so it's like my second home, but I'm originally from Alabama, bro. What, what, what city in Alabama? Mobile. Mobile. Everybody always says Birmingham. You, 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 you. Man, I done had like 25 Alabama artists on, on 300 episodes, and you the first non-Birmingham one. Right, I'm from Mobile, bro. Home of uh, Mr. Big, Rich Boy, No Cap, Rollo. You know, the whole nine, bro. We got some heavy hitters in the game. Oh, you, you're talking about the real Mr. Big, right? The last Mr. Big, yeah. Time yeah. trial. Started selling dope back in 1986. Yeah. Mr. Man, Big. that is my motherfucking jam. What, what was that? Was that on the uh realist N words down south? I felt uh, like it was, it was on was like on a time served. It was on what? Time served. That was his first project. No, nah, I mean I, I I'm not disputing that, but but it was on some type of collection. Like I heard it on something that didn't have no other oh. Mr. Big. And like, you know, I'm from DC, right? So it was yeah. on like some shit you could get from the record store, but you gotcha. couldn't get time served from no record store. So I didn't end up hearing time served till like literally, bro, probably like 15 years later. No, nah, I feel that. I feel that. But yeah, brother, I'm pretty sure that single was everywhere when he first dropped it. So I'm pretty sure it was on a bunch of mixtapes, bro. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it was everywhere where people weren't too far from New York's ass. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> hey, bro. I mean, you know, I love New York music, but let's not forget the fucking... Uh, uh, Andre, Andre ain't say that shit about the South for no reason. Hey, the South got something to say, man. South always has something to say. All the motherfuckers up in New York came from the fucking South. But we ain't gonna get, the, we ain't gonna go there. If we really want to go, if we really want to go there, the original man was African, and Africa is below the Southern Hemisphere. Hey, we ain't gotta talk too much. I see you know what you're talking about. A little bit, a little bit. Um, <laughs> but you, you, you know, my my bad, bro. I'm saying here, not 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 uh, not giving you your your, your proper credits and shit. I forgot to uh, tell everybody. Make sure y'all go y'all go to wherever you get your music from and check out Hendrix's new single, Permethazine Love." Hey man, I'm on, I'm everywhere, bro. Spotify, Apple Music, anywhere there's a music platform, you can find it, man. Permethazine Love is out now. Bunch with a whole bunch of other singles, bro. I got a lot of stuff going on, but y'all go check that out, bro. Retro Hendrix. Everywhere, bro. Title, Google Play, shit. I, I see. I, I I I was in Tampa Bay and there was some motherfuckers floating down the water with with uh with with with, with the motherfucking uh Biden Biden flags, listening to some retro Hendrix. Square biz though. I had to yell and ask like, how the hell y'all know about that? And it was like, oh, it's just this playlist. Because <laughs> because I promised the youngest person gotta, on that boat was like sixty. Man. I got, they, I got a big, big fan base in, in, uh, in Florida. But, bro, like, 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 I'm on, like, this, like, little dock where you eat at and shit, right? Right. And, and, and I'm talking about, like, these motherfuckers look look, look, look like the cast of Cocoon. I'm, I'm making myself sound old as shit. They look like they old as a motherfucker. And, and they just <laughs> go by on this rich-ass people boat real right. fucking slow. And they jamming one of your Jones. And, and, and I'm like, and I just had to yell, like, how the fuck y'all know about Retro Hendrix? And this lady was like, it's my daughter's playlist. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope, bro. That's dope. That's dope. And, you know, I don't got no uh, big point to this, but I, I just want to make sure everybody checks out the I Am The Culture EP. And, and bro, I super fucked with Big Bad Wolf. That, that, that That's like part of my, that, that's like one of my favorite songs ever. Probably, probably uh, my favorite Retro Hendrix song. I'm not going to say it's the best. There's a difference between best and favorite. No, definitely. The, that's one of my... I would say a favorite. It 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 hit home. It was a personal song, bro. 
you know what I mean? It was a personal song that me and my wife was going through a little issue, man. And that was the only way I knew how to get out what I was trying to say. So I just created the song, bro. You know, she had me I, feeling like I was a big bad wolf. I, I love the fuck out of my wife. And uh, I, I don't always be the husband that I want. And, you know, growing up, I, I got the family. Me and you probably grew up somewhat similarly. I grew up in the trenches during crack air, uh, PG County. And, uh, you know, I've been, oh, to pri- I've been, I've been to prison, good. solitary confinement. I got, I got a little bit of mental problems, a little bit of temper issues sometimes. Uh, and uh, my wife has to deal with that shit. And, you know, sometimes I can relate to that. Sometimes I, I feel like I'm the big bad wolf. And then later on, I'm, I'm way more upset at, at how I acted than I ever was at what caused me to be upset. Exactly, bro. And that's that's what Big Bad Wolf was, bro. That's exactly, you hit it right there on the, on, the, on the head, bro. That's exactly where that song came from. That's exactly the motive behind it. It's just we all go through stuff sometimes. And I reacted a certain way and I sat back and thought about like, man, that one, you know, that one even the right things. And shit, I'm feeling like the Big Bad but I was dying. Well, shit, I, I hope I ain't starting that, uh, that, 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 that uh, feeling up for you right now. So, oh, uh, no, bro. Let, let, Yo, let, we passed that, bro. We good. <laughs> we, we, we way past that. That, that. That's what's up. Hey, what, what made you decide to uh, name a song after Fabo? Because I, I don't think Cat, I think Cat's just no Laffy Taffy. I mean, I, 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 I saw you mention uh, Spaceships on Buckhead, but I don't think people really understand not, not just what a, a supremely talented artist he is, but, but, but 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 how talented he is in in many different genres. No, bro, man, I I grew up in that era, bro. You know what I mean, the snap era, the dancing era. You know what I mean. I was in the south when that was going on. So, Fabo, D Four L, Shardy Low, all of them was some of you know my childhood. You know, what I mean? come to my childhood, and I used to always like, bro, Fabo was the 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 life of the party, bro. You know what I mean, and. I was listening to a beat one day, and I was just like, man, I got my white glasses on like Fabo. Because if you look at the glass, if you look at the picture, it's a picture of me with the white glasses on. And it just went from there, bro. I can dig it. I can dig it. Hey, but, hey before we get out of here, though, um, two things. What, what's your next plan with the music? Is uh, Promethazine Love, uh, uh, come, is it going to be part of a project? Honestly, bro, Promethazine Love, bro, and this is why I like music, bro. Promethazine Love, I dropped that song seven years ago in Houston when I first got to Houston and it never got the justice. That's before I knew about streaming and I knew about, I didn't know nothing about the streaming and all that. So I dropped it seven years ago and I just heard it one day randomly and I was like, bro, I got to put this song out. Yes, so everybody I agree. Everybody can hear it, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I just re-dropped it. Like I said, it's an old song, bro. It's like really seven, eight years old. I just re-dropped it because it's, it's, a, it's a good song and, and if you hear it, it now, is. you won't even know it was seven years ago. I didn't. I didn't. I mean, like, bro, I got a roll, but, uh, yo, it, put four songs with it. That'd be a hell of an EP. Press out the vinyl. I'm sure you could sell a, a thousand copies of that like it's nothing. That'd be $3,500. If you sell them Already. for $20, if you sell them for $20, that's 20 stacks back off a $3,500 in, in investment. Um, last, la- la- last, uh, last thing though, uh, what, what's your socials in the best place? You know, the one you use the most so they can, they can talk to you if you want to interact with them. Man, y'all can catch me retro hinders on IG, bro. R E T R O H E N D R X, or you can find me on Twitter at T F M G Retro. I, hey, man, thank you so much for your time. I've been a fan for a long time, and uh, I look forward to doing a longer episode where we can get, we can get into uh, you know much more of your discography. Yes, sir, we will, bro. We're gonna we're gonna lock in, bro. All right, man. Salute and thank you. Appreciate you, bro. Yes, sir.